Hello, we are going to close up this chapter by looking at the relationship between ratio B, rates, Lu, proportions, B, Li. What we learned in this chapter with what we have learned in the primary school, such as Fen Shu, fraction, percentage, Fa Xian, and decimal, Xiao Shu Dian. First, let's learn how to pronounce in English first. Fraction, Fen Shu. There is a pizza here. So we can see that there are three or four pizza here. Si Fen Zi San. In English, we read it as three or four. 下面的分母 is read as denominator. Again, denominator. 分母. 分子, we call it as numerator. Numerator. And if you have two fractions and the denominators are the same, 分母是一样的, we call it as common. 一样, common denominators. 一样的分母。我们怎么念分数呢？华文我们念分母了，才念分子四、分子三。But English is the other way round. 先念上面的。So you can read it as three of four, or three over four, or simply as three fourth, three fourth. Her one third. One quarter is 一样的. Next, percentage, 百分比, 或者是我们要比它的总数. So, if I'm going to change this fraction, 3 of 4, to percentage, I can always times with 100, and then it will become 75. When I times 100, I'll have to put a percentage sign at the back. So this is read as 75%. 75%. Last, decimal, 小数点. 小数点, if I'm going to change this fraction, 3 of 4, to decimals, how? I can straight away press calculator, and it will give me 0 0.75. So I read it as 0. Point 75. Not 75, but 0 0.75. 零点七五。So here we go. Ratio to fraction, percentage, and decimals. Let's have a look here. I have this 20 to 100 in ratio. I can put it in fraction, which is 20 of 100. In percentage, I can put it in 20% or in decimals, 0 0.20. So I have ratio, fraction, percentage, decimal, all mean the same thing, but writing in different form. 一个是在比,一个是在分数,一个是在百千比,一个是在小数点. So we can say that, 分数它是一种比八仙率也是一种比只是它的分母肯定是要是一百小数点呢也是比的另外一种呈现如果比适合一百相比的话那么我就可以把它写成分数也可以把它写成八仙率也可以把它用小数点来呈现来我们一起做一
So I have 80 unshaded squares. So this is the ratio of shaded squares to the unshaded squares. Next, in the diagram A again, I want to find the ratio of number of shaded squares to the number of total squares. So I know the squares in orange is 20. Total squares means the orange colors and the white colors. All together, 20 plus 80, I'll get 100. With this ratio, I can put it in the fraction. The fraction I want is shaded square. Shaded square is 20 orange colors and the total square is orange plus the white color, which is 100. This is fraction. Next, moving on to percentage. Can I find the percentage of the shaded squares here? So I can put my fraction first. To change from fraction to percentage, I can times it's 100. And that, that gives me 20. But don't forget, for a percentage, I always need to put a percent sign. Next, I'm going to find out what is the decimals of the shaded squares percentage. From this percentage, I know that percent, 20% here also meant 20 per cent means 100. Put into calculator, I should be able to get 0. 0.20 or 0 0.2 percentage of unshaded squares unshaded one so unshaded ones it is 80 squares per the total squares which is 100 this is a fraction change it to the percentage I can times with 100 and that gives me 80% as the sign. Next, I'm going to change this unshaded squares percentage to the decimal. So 80% also means 80 per cent, which is per 100. Put the calculator, I'll be able to get 0 0.80. So from the very first, I find out the ratio of shaded and unshaded. And then I change this to ratio of shaded and the total. From the ratio of that, I change it to fraction, fen shu. From fen shu, I can change it to percentage, pa xin lü. And then from pa xin lü, I can change it to the decimal, xiao shu dian. So this is for diagram A. I would like you to try diagram B and also diagram C. See ya. Look at this diagram. I have three blue marbles here and I have seven red marbles here. How many all together? Three plus seven. I have ten marbles there. Can I put it into a ratio form? Ratio of blue marbles to red marbles. Ratio of blue marbles to red marbles. I can also interchange. I can also say ratio of red marbles to blue marbles. Red marbles to blue marbles. Somebody might say, teacher, teacher, can I put it into three quantities? Or how? For example, blue marbles to red marbles to the total of them. 3 plus 7, which is 10. Ratio of blue marbles to red marbles to total of the number marbles. Yes, you can. But actually from here, we already know the total is 10. So it's good to know, but we, know, we don't normally write it out. Let's look at a fraction here. 
Can I write the ratio into fraction form? 3 to 7. The fraction of blue marbles to red marbles. Or I can also put it as blue marbles to the total marbles. To the total marbles, which is the red plus the blue. So I'll get the fraction of the blue marbles to the total marbles is 3 of 10 or 3 tenth or 3 over 10 or 3 per 10. Next, let's look at percentage. Percentage means my number is always divided by 100 at the bottom. My number is always divided by 100 in the bottom. So this 100 represents the total of it. Represents the total of the entire thing. So for example, when I look at this diagram, I can say, can I find the percentage of blue marbles to the entire marbles? Or can I find the percentage of red marbles? Which also means red marbles comparing to the entire number of marbles here. So can I convert this to percentage? No, because 7 represents only the red one. So I have to always use the total one. So I can convert 3 of 10 to percentage. So my blue marbles of the total marbles, which is 10, if I convert this to percentage, I can always times with 100. And from calculator, you can get 30 here. But remember, when we write percentage, there's always a percent sign here. When we times 100, it comes with the sign here. Don't forget. So this is how we convert fraction to percentage by only using blue marbles to the total number of marbles. Next, decimal. Decimal means 小数点, 30%. You can always convert to 30 per cent. And then, press the calculator, you'll be able to get 0 0.3. Let me conclude. Ratio here means when we compare two things together. So, the ratio of blue marbles to red marbles is 3 to 7 compare two things together. When we look at fraction, fraction, we can put ratio into fraction 3 to 7, blue to red marbles. But we can also put it in a total form, the blue marbles to the total number of marbles. And with this kind of fraction, I can convert this fraction to percentage by having 3 10 times 100, it will become 30%. Don't forget to put a sign here when you times 100. Then, if I'm going to convert percentage to decimal, I can say that 30%, we can always convert back to 30 per cent 100 with the calculator and we'll get 0 0.3. That is how ratio relates with fraction, percentage and decimal. of number of girls to number of boys is 3 to 2. I'm going to find out what is the percentage of girls in the class and what is the percentage of boys in the class. What is percentage? Percentage means it's a fraction over the total number of students in the class or a fraction of 100 at the bottom. So first, it looks like a fraction, right? So maybe I should change from my ratio to fraction. How? Number of girls to the total number of students in the class. Number of girls to total number of students. 3 plus 2. 3 are girls and 2 are boys. 
So I'll get three parts of girls to five, which is the entire class. So I found a fraction of this. So to change from fraction to percentage, I can always times with 100 to change it to percentage. So I can times with 100. From calculator, you should be able to get 60%. When you times 100, remember, always put a percent sign at the back. This is the percentage of number of goals, which is 60% in the class. So when I look at boys, how am I supposed to find boys? There are two ways. You can always use back the same fraction method, which is two parts of boys divided by the total goals and boys. We're able to get two over 5. So 2 of 5 in the class is boys. To change this into percentage, what should I do? Fraction times 100 and you'll get 40. Remember to put like the percent sign here. So I have 40% of boys in the class. So from 60 plus 40, I'm able to get back the 100% of the entire class, which means that your answer is correct. Alternatively, you can also find the number of boys in a class in percentage by using this way. This is the percentage of goals. Percentage of goals in the class. 60%. So I'm going to find percentage of boys in the class. I know that total is 100%. So I can use 100% minus of the goals because there are only girls and boys here. Minus of the goals. And then I know 40% of them are boys. So this is the method to change from ratio to fraction and to percentage. Let's understand the story too. Wishin saves 30% of his daily pocket money. So Wishin has pocket money of 100%. So for 30%, he saves it. 30%. So what's the unshaded part here? It means 70% is all used up. So I can say 30% is saved. I save the money. And 70% use. What is the question once? Ratio of his daily savings. So I need to put in the ratio. His daily savings to the total daily pocket money received. So when I look at, oh, they want me to find ratio. So can, I can know that my answer should be in ratio term. And this 2 is represented by this sign. So over here, it is daily savings. So I can put out this daily savings. And this is a total daily pocket money received. Total received. So in this form, do I know what is the daily saving here? Yes, 30%. So I can put down this 30% here, a 2 sign. And total receive, how much money he received? All together is 100. So 100%. Remember, it wants us to write in ratio. Ratio, always there is no unit. Percent, percentage here, I can slash it off. And then, I have two numbers, 30 and 100. Can they be further simplified? I think yes. I can also slash one zero here and there. And it left me with 3 to 10. Can it be further simplified? No. So the ratio of his daily savings to total daily pocket money received is 3 to 10.